Hello children. In this video, we are going to learn about sector, segment and arc in a circle. But first, we'll revise the elements of a circle which was explained in the first video on this topic. The elements of a circle are center which is marked as O, the circumference which is the boundary of the circle, radius OD and OG which is the distance from the center of the circle to any point on its circumference, diameter AB which is a line segment that passes through the center of the circle and both the ends lie on the circumference, chord MN which is a line segment from one point on the circumference to another point on the circumference. And you know that the diameter is the longest chord of a circle. Now we will learn what is an arc. Any part of the circumference of a circle is called an arc. It can begin from the point A through B till the point C which means ABC is an arc or it can begin from the point G through H till the point I which means GHI is an arc. Note that while naming an arc, a small curve is drawn above the letters representing the points of an arc. As you can see in this example, arc ABC or arc GHI. Next, we will learn about a sector. The portion of a circle enclosed within two radii and an arc is called a sector. For example, if OD and OG are the two radii of the circle, then the portion of the circle lying within the radii OD and OG and the arc GHD is a sector. Or, the portion lying within the radii and the arc GKD is also a sector. You can clearly see in the figure that the portion enclosed within the radii and the smaller arc GHD is smaller than the portion enclosed within the radii and the bigger arc GKD. The smaller portion is called the minor sector and the greater portion is called the major sector. Moving on to a segment, the portion of a circle enclosed within a chord and an arc is called a segment. For example, if AB is a chord of the circle, then the portion enclosed within the chord AB and the arc ACB is a segment and the portion enclosed within the chord AB and the arc ADB is another segment. As you can see in the figure, a chord divides the circle into two portions or segments. The smaller portion is called the minor segment and the greater portion is called the major segment. Now you know that the portion of a circle enclosed within a chord and an arc is called a segment. And you also know that the diameter of a circle is a chord that passes through the center of the circle. This means that the diameter divides the circle into two equal segments. And each of these equal segments is called a semicircle. A quick recapitulation before we end. A small portion of the circumference of a circle is called an arc. The portion enclosed within two radii and one arc is called a sector. And the portion enclosed within a chord and an arc is called a segment.